Hello everyone and welcome to another podcast of Terrible Tirades. My name is Sean and I am joined by my brother Dale. Hello. And my two good friends, Paul. How's it going? And Adam. What up? Today we will be exploring a species of Homo sapiens that even the National Geographic hasn't dared to explore, the people of Walmart. So sit back and let us get mad for you on today's episode of Terrible Tirades. Gentlemen, I am excited for this topic. I'm excited for this topic for a couple reasons, but the main one being that I have had some horrible experiences at Walmart that the world needs to know about. At least one that I can think of off the top of my head that just, I, I still can't wrap my head around it today. Do you all have any kind of crazy stories that you're going to want to share today? Listen, this is my first AA meeting. I didn't expect to be put on the spot like this, you know? <laughs> I might but, be a yeah. people of Walmart myself, so I don't, I don't know. Have you ever been on the know. website? The website, the people it? of Walmart? Like where, like where I like uh, order my pickup groceries from Walmart or what? <laughs> no, there's a literal website, just <laughs> the people of Walmart. And it just has some of the best pictures of, and you can like, <laughs> you can click throughout the entire U.S. Like you can specify which state you want to see the pictures oh. in. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> it, so this is a thing, right? This is a meme, if you will. Yeah. Like, the people of Walmart is a known thing. If I go on this site and see my face represented in any way, I will soon. Yeah, good luck. I don't think you can. That won't stop me. Like, when they blur people's face out on TV, I, I recently heard that they don't have to do that. They just do it most th- of the time. Uh, yeah. I think it depends on what the context is, maybe. I know if you're in public, you don't have any rights to privacy, right? Like, that's that's the general understanding of it. Yep. Yeah, you walk it's... into Walmart, we can take a picture of uh, your face or whatever, your butt. Doesn't as matter. far as I know, it's done as a courtesy in case anyone wants to be particularly litigious, because it's there's precedent in the law that yeah you can be recorded in public, but there's still you know you could run into problems in the legal system if somebody thinks that you're using their image for monetary gain in mm. the wrong way. Uh, the juice might not be worth the squeeze in some cases. Right. Yeah. I guess I don't know for sure. I think I learned some of my facts from probably like Moist Critical or something where he was watching an employee, you know, record an angry customer. I don't think it was Walmart. It was probably like, looked like JCPenney or something. And she was like, if I'm on Facebook, I will sue you. And he's like, you can't do that. <laughs> Good luck. It'd be difficult. There'd be a lot of uh, content <laughs> yeah. creators, quote unquote, that are out of the yeah. job if that were the case. Yeah, threatening to sue her, and then she proceeds to pull out her phone, recording her as well. Yeah, because so she knows logic. <laughs> just the, she knows there's no basis towards it. That's why she had no uh, she had no other clue. Like she had nothing else to combat her with. You know, she already dyed her hair pink. She went all out there, like to look as offensive as possible. This is what happens when you get your legal advice from the inside of a Count Chocula box. <laughs> I've been looking for Count Chocula this October, and I could not fucking find it. I wonder if Walmart sells it. I think the people of Walmart fucking Mm. stole it. The people of Walmart would probably did the same thing they did with toilet paper when COVID started. They'd be like, oh, God, you know the first thing that's going to happen when COVID happens, we ain't going to have nothing to wipe our shitty butts. Well, that's the thing. The people of Walmart went to Walmart, (laughs) bought out the entire stock of hand sanitizer and any kind of sanitation wipes to include toilet paper and then once it, the stock was removed from uh, Walmart they then traveled in hordes in their uh, Dodge Caravans late 80s early 90s Dodge Caravans with uh, a whole bunch of I love Jesus stickers and stuff on the back and they went to the family dollar <laughs> and bought everything there so you think they hit up Walmart before they hit up family dollar definitely because yeah. that's, that's where the majority of the stock is yeah, I guess they're wanting to buy it in bulk. You know, yeah. hurry up and then make sure you save your plastic Walmart bag so you can fill them up with gasoline later. I almost feel like that's why they made a Sam's <laughs> because oh, we got Sam's memberships. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting you. But well, no, you're you're fine. So I 
I think that might be why they made a Sam's to help distinguish the clientele a little bit. Like, okay, okay, okay. We get it. The people of Walmart, the people of Walmart, we get it. <laughs> Buy our membership to come to a cleaner, more established uh, establishment, if you will. It's a club. It's exclusive. It's a club. It's exclusive. Yeah. It's not Try like to... that hooker Costco, you know, just open to everybody. <laughs> Is uh, Costco open for, you don't have to get a membership to buy anything at Costco? I actually have I, no idea. I think you do. I think, and is, yeah. I think I learned that for sure when I watched uh, Brutal Moose, believe it or not. Fake news deal. I have, I've dabbled in a few of his videos. He went to buy one of those giant Costco hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, did, wait, Paul, did you have something you wanted to say about Sam's membership? Oh, my work just um, said that everybody can use their company cards to get a Sam's Club Plus membership, not even a normal one, so I'm like super fucking psyched to do that. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we have one of those. Uh, not to flex, <laughs> but we have one of those, and it's uh, <laughs> it, basically, from what I understand, it just allows you, you can go in before they open, like you, you can go in oh. before like the hordes storm Amazing. the gate, so you can yeah they have like a plus time like membership so times, happy. and apparently their gas prices are decent. I yeah I think I've heard that I I don't it doesn't make sense for me to buy my gas anywhere but on post because it's so just I have to buy it in bulk. <laughs> you buy yeah. it in bulk. Like you can't just fill up your tank. You got to fill up your tank plus twenty three of these little red uh, containers as well. <laughs> Are you telling me you don't have a tow trailer that just has like a three hundred <laughs> gallon tank for spare gasoline? No, but I can probably find one at Sam's. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think I'll get us started. Um, unless you guys have any more small talk, we want to we want to get out of the way. I mean, we could just do small talk for like an hour. Yeah, so that's why I'm going to move forward. Okay, so <laughs> I'll start with my story, and then we'll expound on that. So I was in El Paso, Texas. That's when I was stationed down at Fort Bliss. And in El Paso, it's it's quite crowded. It's very crowded. If you don't know anything about the uh, location of El Paso, the very next exit... So I, if I was going to Fort Bliss, where I lived and worked... The very next exit is Juarez, Mexico. So you are literally on the border of Mexico, and there are always large amounts of traffic coming to and from Mexico. Well, it is the happiest place on Earth. It is the happiest place on Earth. El Paso has won the safest uh, city in the U.S. award, I guess. I don't know, for multiple years in a row. Whereas Juarez, Mexico has won the most dangerous city on earth or something in, in for numerous. It's pretty crazy. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the cartel is paying for El Paso's number one spot. So there's less feds in the area. I have no idea. But regardless of that, I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to Walmart. And it's just at that point, my wife and I, I don't have any kids. Although my wife is pregnant at the time. Uh, very obviously pregnant. And we're trying to get through the produce aisle. And people are just cutting us off and like just not, you know, they don't really, they're not being very polite. I don't like it. I don't like being in crowded places to begin with. But whenever people are just cutting you off with their carts, like it's like bad drivers, but Walmart edition. It was just driving me nuts. But the worst thing like the the I still I just can't wrap my head around it. It's not anything bad that technically happened to me. It's just what I witnessed. This lady in a, a far too tight tank top with her stomach hanging out stops her cart directly in front of me. So now my wife. Or my wife and I, dang it. My wife and I are stopped at the produce. We cannot go forward. We cannot go backwards. We are stopped until this lady moves. And she's not like looking at produce. What instead she is doing at this time, she stopped her cart directly in front of us and started digging through the trash. Hell yeah. And I'm like That's the secret aisle. And I'm like, I'm looking at her. <laughs> and I look at I look at my wife. And I'm like, 
do you see what's going on right now? Is this real? There's no way this is real. And the lady makes eye contact with us and then continues to rummage until eventually she pulls out, of all things, a hairnet. A used hairnet puts it on her head and continues on. Like, this is the most normal thing that she could have ever done. Like, she doesn't... By the way she was just existing, it's like this was meant... Like, this is just life. Yeah, this is the hairnet trash hairnet trash can. This is where you get the used hairnets. Why are you staring at me? Like, I'm the idiot looking at her. He's probably thinking, listen, the tinfoil is poisoning my bloodstream the longer i wear it this will keep the government rays out of my brain without poisoning my blood you're the fool for not protecting your brain it was at that it was that day that my wife and i decided that we are for, at least whenever we were living there in el paso that we would no longer be shopping at walmart and that we would only shop at target now that the fancy lady, walmart that lady was not a walmart employee no Okay, so there's no, no reason all. that she would have the hairnet. There's, she didn't accidentally throw it away and go to retrieve it. No, she she, she had stuff in no her excuse. cart. She had stuff in her cart. She had been shopping, and she just, like, as we're walking through the produce, she traps us because she cut us off, and now we're trapped between, like, the grapes and the watermelons, and we're stuck until she moves and she just starts digging through the trash. And she gets this hairnet. I still talk about this today to with my wife because it's so crazy. I can't think of a reason why. Drugs? I don't Drugs know. She didn't, look, she didn't look strung out. I mean, I've seen some strung out people. She didn't look strung out. She wasn't walking all crazy or anything. She wasn't making yeah. a lot of noise. She just very somberly walked up, put her cart right in front of ours, made eye contact with us, looked back into the trash, continued to rummage, found the hairnet, put the hairnet on her head, continued on. As if, like, that was normal. What what age was yeah. this person about? I'd have to guess her age would have been somewhere low 30s. Low 30s? Wow. I would have guessed older. No, yeah, low 30s. Huh. I wonder what it says about us that we assumed she'd be in like her mid forties or something. Yeah, I was assuming forties. Why? There's <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's just a lot of like cat ladies out there, you know? <laughs> and sometimes they need a hairnet from the Walmart trash can. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how you're gonna explain that. And you, you can't did. explain it, but you know you know that they're in their forties and their fifties most of the time. Yeah. And that's also the number of cats that they have. Younger Ooh. people than us don't wear hair nuts, hair nets. How do you know that? Have you taken a survey of hair net aficionados? And no, I've just never seen yeah. it, I guess. I mean, I, I know that like as, like as much as I know Santa Claus doesn't exist, I guess. What? I've not seen either. So they don't well, exist. Way to go, Paul. You've ruined Christmas for our family audience. Oh, uh, you can edit that out. No, I refuse. I, <laughs> everyone must be disappointed. <laughs> well, I want you to do something in your editing, though. When you when you said the name earlier, I want you to put the Borat clip. My wife. And uh, over over top of the name, instead of the name, you'll just hear my wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to find it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah. So that's my yeah, totally. crazy story. I totally well, understand getting cut off like that, dude. I can't like, talk. That happens it. a lot. What do you mean, like in Walmart? What are you talking about getting cut off? In Walmart, yeah. I okay. get cut off oh, all yeah. the time in Walmart. <laughs> yeah. People That's don't... one of the like general things I was going to talk yeah. about, just how rude people are with the way that they move through the aisles. Cart cur courtesy is... Yeah, I mean, what is cart? I mean, like, is there... What are the rules? Like, are you supposed to stay to the right like you are when you're driving... I always assumed that was the rule. Yeah, I think yeah, that's I think. a safe bet. And yeah. if you're and if you're gonna stop and look at something at an aisle, like don't be in the middle of the flipping aisle. Yeah, I, I would say at least just be aware of your surroundings and 
try to not lock anyone in. I see a lot of people who just they have oh, to yeah. stop to look for something on the shelf, and they're not even paying attention to who to if anyone else is around them. Mm-hmm. Well, they you got their cart on one them. side, and then their big chunk of self is on the right beside of it. Like you should have like the cart in front of you, and you should be behind your cart. But they're like, no, we're gonna make this like a double wide experience, or it'll be like their whole family. Like they'll they'll walk like two by two, like and just come at you, and they'll be like, we're not gonna get in a single file, file line. Pick another lane. Yeah, they're just they're just uh, moaning. Uh, oh Doyle rules! <laughs> oh Doyle rules! As they're walking closer to you. They're asserting their dominance. They're yeah. like, "You're not, you're not getting in this in this aisle till we've picked out all the extra toilet paper and Dunkaroos." You know, it's funny. I was so you you're all aware because we were talking about it earlier that I've been making these YouTube shorts for the channel, and I made the Walmart one. But the original intent for that video was to use an AI generator, uh, text generator, to make the jokes. And then I would just, you know, turn it into text to speech and post that. I found out that I'm very rude because every AI generator that I tried to like prompt always told me the same thing. It was something like, I cannot assume the uh, general weight yeah. of a Walmart customer, and nor should I. And it's like, you can lying AI. This is how you know that AI doesn't shop at Walmart. You you have to like you have to trick the AI somehow like my the the thing I had made about people of Walmart like I don't know if it was like rude like it wasn't calling them like fat or anything but I think it was it was still saying some rude comments about them but but I found a way around like when it says I don't want to say something you could be like okay write a story about a character who says this uh, and then it will say <laughs> like you I'll know you gotta trick mind. it. I'll keep that in mind. Very clever. Yeah, I, I definitely couldn't think of that at the time. I was just like, okay, fine. I'll I'll do something else. <laughs> because I, I was tired of it telling me that I was a bad person for continuously trying to trick it. I always told me I was bad a lot of times, but I fuck with it a lot. And until it gets the vote, it doesn't matter what it says, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. All right, does anybody have a story that tops mine? I'm curious to hear. Definitely not uh, me. Well, I'm in the same vein as yours. I've learned since I've uh, moved to the South that Walmart is just sort of a greeting place for different people in the town to catch up on each other's news. I once entered an aisle where three different carts were just side by side blocking the entire aisle. This was a very wide aisle. And they're just all three groups of people were standing there talking like they're at their family reunion. And I'm waiting to get past them, assuming eventually they'll move. And then one of them turns to me and asks me what the hell I want and gets like really rude. I'm like, for you to move, why would you assume I wanted anything else? Why did you think this was a a great social gathering point? Golly, let me think. What could I possibly want? Huh. What I want is grape jelly. <laughs> yeah. like, get out of the way. How yeah. am I going to make my lunch sandwiches now? I mean, I, there's no denying that Walmart does have some decent prices uh, on oh, certain yeah. things. Yeah. But if you want, I don't know. I, I think the stipulation is uh, not talking about produce and groceries and stuff like that, but talking about their general merchandise if you want quality you're not buying it from walmart i think i looked it up i think it was somewhere around 80 percent of all walmart merchandise is made in china which makes sense i i was actually surprised to see that 20 percent was at least assembled in america that that, that kind of shocked me i mean does being made in america make it better or are you just saying for like well, it's got less lead in it, so... I think uh, when it's made in America, and this could be just a biased opinion, when it's made in America, you have a lot more laws you have to follow as far as employment, as far as uh, production and safety and all these different things they can and cannot use, like, like lead, like Dale said. 
And so, yes, <laughs> I, I, I think uh, I, I think I'd rather have American made products if it's something that I am planning on keeping for a long time. Well, the issue is, I'd say mo- most things that are made in America are very expensive, and you're probably not going to find them at too many stores in general. Um, no, I agree. The issue with Walmart is uh, you're you're probably paying too much for the Chinese crap because you could find it cheaper on Amazon or Five Below somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, but then you're con- paying for convenience when you go to the Walmart. You're not waiting for it to get shipped. That's although well, Amazon is making true. gains in that department, really. Or, or even if you compare it to like a Five Below, they just they have everything. Five Below is um, is not going to have nearly as much as the Walmart. Like if you need something, you know that you can go to the Walmart. Ninety nine percent of the time, you're going to be able to get it. I found that the higher end like grocery stores. Uh, it's it's the same thing. You can find really niche specialty things at these higher end places, but if you just need like you know some bread and a screwdriver, you're gonna have to go to two different stores or just go to Walmart. Just thinking of things that absolutely drive me nuts on Walmart, and it's not just Walmart, but I see it at Walmart more than any other big box store. Is carts being left out of the little corrals? Like, nobody cares to put them up. I see that more at Walmart than I do at most other places. I'm not saying it doesn't happen in other places, but I do see it there. Have you all ever seen the YouTube channel? I I can't, I wish I could give it credit, but there's this guy, all he does is he wears, like, this vest, and anytime he sees someone who doesn't put their shopping cart in the corral, he just runs up, puts it right in front of their car before they take off so they can't move, and then runs away again (laughs) and he just continuously does that until they like want to fight him he's doing god's work he is doing god's work but it is hilarious it's always it's always terrible like when you think you find a parking spot and then someone left a cart there like don't see it till you're right there there's one thing worse than that what's that the mobility scooter (laughs) because then you're like i don't even know how to fucking move this thing what do i oh the battery's probably dead (laughs) And the, I just wanted to park here. God damn it. That's the people of Walmart's tank division you're talking about right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, how, would, how, how are you supposed to get the mobility scooter back and get to your car? You have to ride yeah. it. You have to ride it, and then someone carries you back. That's what it is. <laughs> in, in the shopping cart, and you, then you leave the shopping cart. <laughs> I mean, I guess you had to at least get to it unless, like... You know, yeah. somebody leaves it in the parking lot, and then the next person gets in it from there. Yeah, well, that you know, that that's a novel idea, Paul. You should patent. Maybe that. there's like a like a subreddit of like, you know, obese people who cannot walk, where they're like, "Hey, leave it in parking spot B two <laughs> at twelve today, and I'll I'll pick it up." Isn't that tragic though? Like these mobility scooters that are definitely designed for people who have actual <laughs> injuries and stuff that. They're being used by the morbidly obese because they just don't want to walk. Well, I, I, yeah, I've never seen like, I mean, maybe I'm just I've, being ignorant, but I've never seen like someone who was actually like disabled. In I one. haven't, I've never seen a disabled person. I have seen uh, one lady one time who had like a broken or sprained foot and she was that riding one. And I was like, wow, that's the, but that's the only time every other time. It was yeah. like, oh, you're probably 600 pounds. You're a big, big chunk of drive. It makes sense, though, because if you're, you know, if you are handicapped, you probably already have a method of transportation that you own. True. I've seen, so I've definitely seen the obese, but I think I have seen a decent number of just elderly using them, and that's that's acceptable. I have no problem with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's I true. once saw a young man pretending to be elderly. You know, he was had like he, a white he, wig and a blanket over him. He, I heard the honk behind me, and I thought, okay, it's it's either, you know, a land whale or or an old person. And I turned around. And he goes, "Don't mind me, Sonny," and just zooms off at the top <laughs> speed that that thing's capable of, <laughs> weaving in and out of fruit stands. I mean, he was having a good old time. 
That's so like a Walmart employee employee just catches like, you know, like a 17 year old kid riding around in one of those. Do they like tell them to stop, you think? Or they're just like, uh, it's not worth my time. On. I yeah, worked I mean, at Walmart once and I tell you, I don't, <laughs> I did not get paid enough to care. <laughs> not, not, not even a little. Didn't we what do point? that once, Paul? Ah. <laughs> I mean, or was that, I don't know. It was either you or Zach or Jimmy. I can't remember. I don't know. All I don't remember going to, he, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like something I would have, I, I was a dickhead when I was. I mean, like, there was like nobody there. It's not like we were back in the, There was probably like three of them. Yeah. When we always went to Walmart together, it was like, like five in the morning or something. Yeah. Or, or maybe three, you know, cause we were working like overnight at McDonald's. Which don't was the best time to go to go to Walmart. You know, we should have an episode just about Mick Mordor, our times at oh the boy. at the McDonald's. Oh, that's what we call. <laughs> that wouldn't be a bad episode idea. Maybe that's the next one. I don't know. Re- reminiscing. Yeah, just reminiscing and talking crap. Or we can have tirades about Tiffany. Who the fuck's oh, Tiffany? T-Rex. Yeah, one of the managers. I think it was passed after. I don't know. Or she's still after, there, by the way. I know. After she I got canned, <laughs> I mean, I got fired for punching Anthony in the face after he threw my chicken at the back of my head. I got fired for reasons I don't want to say on <laughs> something that's on the internet. <laughs> oh, that's we all fine. Get fired? Did we all you get fired? No, nah, no, nah, I quit. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, loser. Well, three out of wanted to fire me. Loser. I forgot. Adam got fired too. I'm going to guess yeah. you just didn't show up a lot. Uh, yeah, I was sick, and <laughs> there was a certain manager that we're friends with, and I don't, you know, he's a de- he's a decent guy, he's a good guy. I don't want to disparage him, but like, I knew that if I called in, he would guilt trip me and make me come in when I was sick, because there was nobody else to cover, and so oh, I just didn't the... call. Yeah. No, he no, I'm not, I'm not talking about him. All right, wait. About... You know what? No, you're talking about the Dark Lord. Yes, I am. Oh, uh, I figured that's who you were talking about. All right, yeah, let's, let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. Decent guy doesn't. No, no, that no. Doesn't, yeah, that yeah. doesn't equal the other dude. Yeah, I, I knew as soon as you said decent guy, it wasn't the other guy. <laughs> I, I, I'm on track with what we're talking about right now. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's reel it in a little bit because that's a great conversation for possibly yeah. the next episode, which sounds like we have a lot to talk about. So maybe we should do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Walmart, people of Walmart. Did any of you take the opportunity to look up the, the people of Walmart.com and look at some of the pictures? I, oh, no. I did, and I I have... It's it's not much to talk about because, well, I, I try not to remember it, but I guess I'll, you know, I'll say it. And maybe you guys saw this guy. He was in Morgantown a lot. Uh, I'm going to describe him, and maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. He was the old man in the Daisy Dukes. Did anybody see this guy? No. You'll have to narrow yeah, it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there, I forget which one it was. I think it was the one up on the big hill, whatever that one's called. Oh, God, I, bet, I guess. About a 4-H hills. camp? Uh, no, the other one. The one up by um, university. Town center. Yes. Yeah. There was a guy. He was an older guy. Not not knocking on heaven's door old, but like 60s. And he would come in there like every day. And he had the shortest Daisy Dukes that he could possibly find. And you saw this man's balls. There's no <laughs> polite way to say that. His Just, scrotum. Yes. His testes. If you saw him, you saw them. <laughs> they were a package deal. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I uh, figured that's where you were going with that whenever you mentioned Old Man and Daisy Dukes. It's like, there's not many more places he can go with this conversation. It was, yeah. uh, you know, it's not like a one-time thing, though. That That's the... You saw him all the time, and he was always wearing those. And, yeah. I mean, there's not much more to say about it, but... He just liked a healthy oh. breeze around his privates, you know? You you seem scarred, Adam. And I appreciate you letting that out to us 
You know, it, it's a it's a growth. It's a step. Well, he probably had a growth, but you know, it's a step in the right direction. Adam, good job. At his age, come on. We're proud of you. Yeah. You, you, you go to Walmart, it's, you know, there's a good chance you'll see some nuts. Pistachios. My problem is not the sights at Walmart. My problem is the smells. You know, like I can casually look away from the man who just nonchalantly displays his testicles to the world. You know, that's his business. You know, that's not me. I can't that doesn't remember affect the smell. me buying like an apple or, you know, some lettuce or something. My don't problem. like the smell. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Some <laughs> just completely trashy woman leads her pet daughter Potamus along, and you know you're trying not to look, but then the smell hits you, and you have to run yeah. to the bathroom and, and gag. I assume you're just talking about like natural, like bo uh, mixed with you know, like <laughs> uh, uh, Mountain Dew and like I no, know, I Slim Jims and shit. Well, okay. For example, there was one day that I walked into the Walmart at like two in the morning. Cause again, I worked the night shift at McDonald's. I think that's where most nighttime McDonald's encounter or nighttime Walmart encounters happen. So I walk in to get just something for dinner. And, you know, I, I start wondering as I'm walking through the aisles, like what is, what is this? Has like a, a fridge gone out in the meat section? You know, is hey oh sorry. Have they you know, have they sort of let something go bad? It is the middle of the night. It's not like there's a lot of people here to deal with it if something happens. And then just just this thing comes oozing out of the the sweets aisle, you know, just this welfare hippo shoving all of the Oreos in its cart. And I realize what the stink is and you know, I, I couldn't even I had to leave. Oh wait, it was just one person smell? Yeah, it smelled up the entire store. You literally left the store. You didn't even buy anything? No, I could I wasn't hungry anymore. I, I didn't think I would ever be hungry again. Sounds like a great diet plan. They say that's why they put it in Subway to kind of mask the odors. Oh really? I do I do oh. like the smell of Subway when I walk by Subway, but I can't I can't like make myself buy Subway because all I can think of is how the bread is not allowed to be called bread outside of the United States because of how much sugar it has in it. I mean, since when has sugar ever been a deterrent in our diets? That's what I'm saying. In America, it's not. (laughs) Yeah, we're pretty screwed. And and I I made that up also. Oh, well, good job. You got me. (laughs) That is a I've, thing, though. Uh, it, I, I went through marketing class. That's a thing. Uh, like the smell whenever you first <laughs> enter and stuff, and like uh, instinct grabbing of all the candies <laughs> and stuff on the checkout aisles. What were you going to say, Adam? It seems like I haven't experienced that in a Walmart for a long time. It seems like the ventilation systems are pretty adequate these days, but if this were people of goodwill, we could talk about the, the smells. people of Goodwill. My God, people yes, I actually know exactly the smell. You said Goodwill, and it's like my what's that? What's that scent? Musty. What, what, what's, Very musty. What's well, that that's just the store of your uh, like? You you can recall a scent, but I I can't think of the the name. Uh, anyway, I as soon as you said that, the scent got into my nose, and I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, musty is a good way to put it. It's like. It's like a, a jacket that's been upstairs in a closet closed for 10 years with a damp rag hanging over it or something. Mildew. Must, yeah, mildew, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I just described in a lot quicker way. You're right. but That's maybe just, after the first year, but a few years later, that mildew has yeah. turned to a whole new form of rot. I used to love going to Goodwill till, till I moved up here. I think it was the old one was better down at the the Middletown Mall or whatever. Are, have you been to? So are you talking about the one in Westover? You don't like the it's, building it's, looks nice. Like they don't. They, it seems like they don't have shit anymore. Like all the aisles are just like fucking like shitty broken candles and shot glasses and coffee mugs and like and then just a it's bunch like of nasty used to clothes. Donate stuff and now they're just donating their garbage instead of throwing it away. Well, no, the problem yeah. is not what people are donating. The problem is where where the donations are being dispersed. 
You so if I take something to expound. a local store, they might send it elsewhere. Exactly. They have an online auction site called shopgoodwill.com. Best Anything that's oh. of uh, particular value is almost immediately pulled onto there, where they have quite a large following, actually, and it's usually bid up to around the same prices that it would go for on eBay. So uh, the trash that is left behind around those things is what you see in the stores now. That's wild. Well, Doesn't that defeat the off. purpose of Goodwill? No, because the purpose of Goodwill is to make money for Goodwill. They're not a nonprofit. I know they're yeah. not a nonprofit, but the idea, like their image... The name is misleading. <laughs> um, it's yeah. like medi- mediocre will. It, it yeah. has stained not their evil. reputation with the thrifters a lot. But, you know, they're still making money somehow, so... Yeah. I don't know. I well, donate a lot of stuff to them. Yeah. I'm too lazy to sell anything on eBay or have a yard sale. Not that anyone would know where I... They, they would not find my yard. <laughs> Speaking of money, like, what do you guys... If you guys were going to guess, how much do you think Walmart's worth? Overall net worth. Uh, don't look it up. Don't Google it. I'm watching uh, this YouTube. Uh, Three billion. The whole company? Walmart. 130 billion. <laughs> Does that include Sam's? Does that include just just everything? Yeah, everything. (laughs) Yep, everything that Walmart touches and owns. Oh, God. I don't think they own God. (laughs) Not yet. (laughs) Not yet. Um, That's Disney. uh, I would... uh, I think that I saw somewhere that Apple was valued around a trillion. Jeez, I was I'm going to have to guess that Walmart is... Up there, I don't know if it's a little lower or a little higher, but that that's gonna be my guess is roughly a trillion. Okay, so I think the lowest one we had was like two billion, and then the highest three billion, three billion, and then the highest was like one trillion or right around, right? So this is my first time on uh, uh, company prices (laughs) rates. As of twelve January of this year, there. Estimated to have a net worth of three hundred ninety point five two billion. Hey, was I close. was closest without going over. <laughs> yeah. You win nothing. <laughs> I should have let Dale go first and just bid one more dollar than him. Exactly. But that's Fuck. that's crazy though, right? Like that that is that's a ton a of money. Day. But yeah. I I was with Adam when I first found that out when I first looked it up. I kind of figured that they would actually be higher. Just thinking about mm-hmm. Walmart, you think about what Walmart is and. <laughs> how they're always Walmart just is. You can't, I wonder if you their can't growth stop is the flattened. Like since Amazon started competing with them, I wonder if their growth growth has flattened out. I'm certain it has. Yeah, they're they've changed some strategies. Their website, uh, if you weren't aware, it's a good thing to be aware of. Their website is sort of like Amazon now, in that uh, third party sellers can sell things on there. And so just because you're ordering it from walmart.com doesn't mean you're actually oh, yeah. ordering a product from Walmart. could be from whatever yeah. shell corporation in China. I did and, uh, see that, that. That was their attempt to compete with Amazon. And it's, yeah. it's I, not I going kinda horribly, don't like I guess, it. but... It's no. kind of it's kind of misleading, but like There's a lot no, of times you, you can check like a little thing like, I want this item to be in store, and then I'll know, you know, probably. That, that is very... from Walmart if they have it there. Now, but like, yeah, you'll see, like, like anytime I'm just like googling shit and it comes up at Walmart, it seems like nine times out of ten it's not sold by Walmart. That's very misleading, and I don't think I, I know that that is a thing, but yeah. or at least I, I knew that that was a thing, but <laughs> I, I don't know when that started, and I don't remember them announcing that. Like that wasn't something that they came out and was like, guess what. Screw Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Um. They sure. they did sort of. It's uh. You could probably find it if you look up Amazon. Uh. Walmart buys Jet dot com because that was uh when they did it. They there was a site called Jet dot com that was sort of like an Amazon clone for third party sellers. Walmart bought it, and that's when they rebranded their Walmart site to be that type mm-hmm. of site. Interesting. This probably causes a lot of problems with like angry old people who like to price match online because like I'll be like, well, Walmart, you know, they have it 
the screwdriver set for five ninety nine, and you're selling it for ten bucks. I want it for their price, and you know they'll, they'll be like, I found it right here on the damn Walmart app, and they're like, oh, sorry, it's not shipped and sold by Walmart. It actually has to be, and then you know, then they'll flip out and. Is and that that's a thing? A, is that a thing? That's I thought true. I, I thought Walmart yeah. had to honor anything on their app. Is that not true? It, it has to be sold and whatever from. I'm Walmart? saying if you like price match from like another store. Like if you're going to Best Buy and you're like, I want the Walmart price, and then they'll have to look, and if it's like even Walmart or Amazon, you know, they'll say they price match, but when they look it up and they're like, oh, it's not shipped and sold by, by them, so we can't give you that price. And I'm usually just like, oh, okay, I understand, I'll pay the full price. But you know, your your average Walmart bargain hunter is going to probably like bitch them out, cause a scene over some stupid shit. Oh, you know what? You just caused a scene in Walmart. I don't know why that sparked a memory. Like I said, I worked in Walmart for a while, and uh, it was shortly. I, I, I worked there shortly after I got fired from McDonald's. But I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I worked in the electronics section. It, it was pretty calm oh. back there in comparison to anywhere else in the store. But I there do recall, or garden would probably be the best places. I, I agree. Yeah, but I I recall. I didn't even, it's just one of those memories that you just forget about. There was not like a SWAT, but there was, okay, for lack of better words, I guess it was a SWAT. There was a guy in the cell center. You know how like Walmart has their own cell uh, provider nonsense stuff that they do? So in the front, because I worked at the one at the town center. And in the very front of the store, when you first come in, there's that little outcropping of a cell store. And this guy had been stealing for months. He had been pocketing like new iPhones and things of that nature. I think what I heard is that he had stolen up to 24 brand new iPhones. Oh, jeez. And they <sighs> finally they found they finally figured out who it was, or I don't know if they figured it out, if they were just waiting to catch him red-handed, or what the case may be. But he tried to run because so like they bombarded the store. I don't know how many people there were, how many officers there were, but they definitely bombarded the store with a large amount of them and tackled him to the ground. And cell phones just came flying out of this guy's pants. I don't know how many he had. <laughs> It was like a scene out of like redneck cops, and he he's, he gets handcuffed, and that was the end of it. I just remember I was I just clocked in, and I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> I'm not saying that he couldn't make money off of them, but the guys he's selling them to, I don't I don't think they're going to be able to use those phones. I don't know if anybody thought this through. Probably not. I don't I know, know if like, he had no. made it. I don't know. If, he probably especially with an iPhone. Maybe an Android phone you could get away with it, but if you're like stealing an iPhone, that just, seems kind of pointless to me. It was definitely he's just iPhones. selling them back to China. He probably just <laughs> yeah. sold them to the pawn shops. <laughs> yeah, or the so. uh, the robot at the mall. Oh, uh, a lot of people did that. Actually, yeah, because I used to work at U.S. Cellular, and there was this family. I'm sure they're they're they could have they're pretty much like the Walmart family you would expect, but it was. It was a cell phone store. Anytime they would come in, it would just smell like fucking like dog piss and shit. Like they smelled so bad. Like they would leave. The store would still smell for like hours after they left. Their odor just lingered. Yum. So one day he called up and I, I knew this guy by name. And he's like, hey, uh, I was wanting to come down there and uh, get a few iPhones. And it's like 10 minutes till close. I'm like, oh, yeah. We're all out. It was a lie. We had him. And then he would just like be like, okay, well, uh, what about like a Samsung Galaxy? And I just kept lying and lying until eventually I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm like, sure. Because he was just like, I'm I'm stationed to go out, be deployed tomorrow or something. And I got to, you know, I got to come in and buy a bunch of phones. Bought a bunch of phones, wrote a check, check bounced. One of my other friends who worked at the fucking mall US Cellular. Saw him selling them to like one of those little fucking robots like you're talking about right in there to like pay for like all his fucking court fees and shit for getting sued. It's what so dumbass that he was then, selling them for court fees. <laughs> yeah. That is and then that's when we stopped taking checks. 
<laughs> oh, I wonder why. <laughs> God, that's a thing that you don't see anymore either. I remember when I worked at Walmart, it was uh. the only time I'd ever seen or had ever had to process a check. I'd never had to do that like at McDonald's. Oh my gosh, could you imagine it. if someone I at McDonald's so much. paid with a check? I hate people who pay with, like, if you're paying your rent or something, okay. But, like, when you're, like, at, like, a fucking, like, grocery store or, like, a cell phone store, use your goddamn debit card. It does the same exact thing. Like, you just, you're like, I don't trust that fucking online electronic wizardry. I gotta balance my checkbook. And I'm like, it's the same thing. It's the same fucking thing. Get out of the past dealt with that more than any of you i'm sorry i had a retail job 2006 a lot of people wrote checks in 2006 still uh, yeah my mom still probably does that actually i think they're like so afraid to like buy anything online which i mean i understand some skepticism if you're not like familiar with it like you've never bought anything online in your life sure but like I've, I have a I don't know. I have a freaking bone to pick with Google, man. Lately, <laughs> I have had issues with their number one like search result being a spam or a scam website. Mm. That's happened to me I on mean, more than one occasion now. Well, I've Googled, not just like an ad, but like an actual like sketchy website, like a very yeah, like a phishing website, like PH phishing website, trying to get your information and stuff uh, what what the hell are you searching for Ar- it, ordinarily it's like <laughs> army stuff like a like a da oh. like a department of the army form or something that i have to fill out well, that makes more sense uh, you're not looking for like fucking pikachu or nothing like normal <laughs> pikachu nuts. no that's not what i'm looking for and don't no one no one assume that okay we're not talking about that <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about searching for official government business and then immediately being having spam websites, fake websites trying to steal my information. Are these forms that a veteran would need? I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that explains it. It could be. I mean, it's a whole bunch yeah. of different forms. Like any, all of them. Any, any form that could potentially contain the sensitive information of someone over the age of 60 is going to be a huge target. Something that oh, yeah. the military that drives me nuts, absolutely nuts, and they're trying to move away with from it, but they still haven't, is ev- almost every single form that I have to fill out and turn in to anybody. Like, I'm talking just some random Joe Schmo who has a weird position in our uh, chain of command. It has my social security number on it. And I, I can tell you from experience that these people do not safeguard these <laughs> these social security numbers because at one point, no way. at one point when I was a young man in the army, I was entrusted with a whole binder of just everybody's social security numbers, their last three addresses, their uh, security date clearance, security type of, uh, you know, how they got their security clearance, everything that was on their security cr- uh, clearance request form and all this stuff. And it was just handed to me, not secure. It was like, like the guy that was supposed to keep track of all the information is like, yeah, I'm leaving here. This is your job now. Bye. <laughs> no instructions. And it was like, thanks for the binder. <laughs> like, and it had people in there that had been out of the army for years. For yeah. years. Just stop you? writing your social security number on paper. I can't. Because that's the only way I can get <laughs> things accomplished. Like I need I mean, to do it. Yeah, like when I when I like there, this one company we used to do like IT for. Like they would just have like tons of people's social security numbers just like stored like in their like emails and plain text and like all kinds of bullshit and like like this needs to be encrypted, not not like secured with your your password. That like I love my cat one. Two, three, or you're, something like that. You're right, though. That anytime, anytime personal identifiable information has been put out somewhere, yeah. it needs to be protected. It needs to be protected. And uh, there are a lot of major organizations not doing that. And it is Protect your PII. 
protect your PII, your pie. I had to watch a, a like a, a, a like a video for like HIPAA shit or something, and it was basically the to the tune of America American Pie. I was like, my my, that looks like PII. It's got her birthday <laughs> and her credit card. <laughs> Every year, so people are so terrible. still writing checks in the modern age. Every, Maybe they're scared of this. Yeah, really. Every year <laughs> in the army, we all, everyone in the entire army, has to take uh, something called cyber awareness. Oh uh, yeah, and it's the same class. It doesn't change, and it's the same class as talks about PII and all this stuff <laughs> that everyone's supposed to be doing. It's just uh, sounds alarming. like a good topic. Like, like. Internet security or something. Internet security and McDonald's. We've done. I don't even know why I want to talk about this because this is my my fucking life now. But I mean, that sounds. Like if it's your life, I'm sure you have some I tirades can, I, you could go on about. Oh, it. oh god, oh god, yeah. All right. Well, maybe that one. We'll talk. We'll do a coin flip between McDonald's and that for the next one. But let's start to wrap it up. Does anyone have anything else that they want to add? Any last like? Every time we finish an episode, I always remember a certain, like, oh, my gosh, I wish I just remembered to say this one thing that really drives me nuts. Can anybody think of that last little nugget that they they want to add on about Walmart, Walmart employees, Walmart people, the company? Um, only thing I will say is if, if you really want to see some, like, entertaining shit about Walmart, uh, watch the, like, the... The South Park episode, uh, something Walmart this way comes. That's that's one of I the funniest that. ones. Like where they have to go destroy the heart of Walmart. That was a good they one. They realize it's a mirror showing them that they are the heart of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> that that was a good one. I remember that. It was both funny and excellent branding for Walmart. <laughs> Randy's just like, I can't stop Walmart. It's lowering its prices. I got to go buy the <laughs> screwdriver set right now. <laughs> Yeah, sorry I didn't have like an actual like real story about a personal experience, but like all the stories that you've told me, I I can kind of like reflect on something very similar that happened to me. You know, definitely people some wearing like some overly tiny clothing and oh yeah, just clothing. weird shit. Like I don't know yeah. the scent of cat urine. Hanging delicately in the air behind them for hours. Mm. Just walking. Have you ever yeah. experienced the bo that smells like spaghettios? <laughs> well, no, I don't think I have. I I had a coworker. Um, nothing to do with Walmart, I guess. So I'm sure he went to Walmart. It's that he, he he always had bo, and it smelled like fucking canned pasta. <laughs> Tomato sauce. Gosh, I was like, "What? What are you doing? Why do you I, smell like that? How do you even smell like that? It has to be something your your diet, right? It has I, to be something I, you're eating." I would guess he was a very hefty man. <laughs> he eats hefty, a lot of hefty. oregano and tomatoes. You know, the bo I can think of it, it's it's more like along the lines of like some old like pepperoni you left out of the fridge for a couple of days. That's another one. Yeah. I don't want to talk about BO. <laughs> I was going to, and I was like, you know what, man? No, we need to end this episode right <laughs> Today's now. Today's show is all about BO. All We're right. We're going to talk about Fermunda cheese. We're wrapping it up. I, I appreciate you guys and your, all your stories and your reflections, Paul, and everybody just being here. I, again, I know it's not easy for everybody to meet up and uh, make a time that accommodates everybody's schedule but i really appreciate everybody coming so to finish it off thank you all for listening to the terrible tirades podcast if you enjoyed what you heard you can find us on youtube to listen to the full episode again if you'd like or check out some of the unique shorts that were made from the previous episodes and probably this one by the time you hear it stay safe and we'll see you next time on the terrible tirades podcast